It's been an artist's journey and Bajaj has finally brought out their most powerful bike yet, the Dominar 400. And look at her, isn't she a beauty? So Bajaj has used a very muscular design philosophy. It's called the alpha male design and it's got a very stubby front end, a muscular line back and of course a very subtle tail to end things. From all proportions and angles, this bike looks edgy and raring to go. It's clear that a lot of thinking has gone into making this bike the way it is, the way it looks and its appeal also is of course very well thought out. The Dominar 400 comes with a 373cc single cylinder liquid cooled engine. The engine puts out 35 PS of power and 35 Newton meters of torque. This has been done because Bajaj wants to pitch this bike as a power cruiser. Now it being a power cruiser, there is the same amount of power and the same amount of torque for an equal and unbiased performance. So if it's city driving or overtaking on the highways, it's very comfortable at the same time it's not lacking in any perspective if you want to take it off-road as well if you want to go out touring and you don't know exactly what kind of terrain you're going to hit then this is definitely one ideal motorcycle now 35 ps of power comes in at 8000 rpm while 35 newton meters of torque comes in at approximately 6500 rpm the motor feels very torquey and is quite linear in its motion. 28 newton meters of torque comes in at approximately 3000 rpm and the peak torque of 35 newton meters comes in at approximately 6500 rpm. So no matter what gear you're in, it does provide ample of power and ample of pickup. Even while you're riding at high speeds, the vehicle feels very stable and planted to the ground. When you're putting it through the corners as well, it's really going to grip the road and it's going to give you ample of traction on tarmac. Be it the foot pegs, be it the seat height, be it the handlebars, it's very very ergonomical and even for touring, for long touring purposes, this bike is definitely going to be a comfortable option. So you get a 320mm disc in the front and a 230mm disc in the rear. The discs are of course with ABS, this is a dual channel ABS which has been used on this bike. They are extremely efficient, the front has that right oomph, that braking power and of course the bite that we all crave for especially in panic braking situations. The rear as well but it could have been a little better in the rear, a little more feel, a little more bite would have made things a lot more enjoyable for the rear brake. Overall braking performance, even in high speed conditions, this bike can come to a stop from 100 kilometers to an hour in just 46 meters, approximately 9 seconds. It also goes from 0 to 100 in approximately 8.23 seconds. So Bajaj has also added a slipper clutch on this and the effects of engine braking while downshifting have been negated on this motorcycle, making it a real delight to ride. The suspension is slightly on the softer side and soaks in most of the undulations and bumps really well in the front and in the rear of course it's a front bias and you do tend to feel the bigger potholes a little bit but it's not something to irksome, not something to worrisome because this bike takes care of it with ease. Now even if you want to put this in a corner and really hug the road, well the Dominar 400 will not disappoint you. The MRF tyres grip the road really well and of course the 43mm telescopic forks up front and a 10-way adjustable monoshock in the rear work quite well for this motorcycle and provide immense stability and balance while doing so.
It's really been an experience riding the Dominar 400 and it's quite evident that Bajaj has poured their heart and soul into this product. The performance, the design, the handling, the stability, everything about this machine speaks truly of world class and a global standard. If you are interested in a motorcycle that comes in the 300 to 400 cc category, this is by far one of the best bets I have ever come across and is definitely something to reckon with. If you liked our video, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Motown India show. Thanks for watching. We launched the Etios Platinum a while back in the Indian market. Now this vehicle gets a few new updates. It has a redesigned front and a redesigned rear. It is definitely more sporty and gets a healthy dose of chrome all around.